Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Last time we cleared the first half of Desire, now let's head back. Oh, hello. Yep, let's stop. Let's get on with today's lesson. Okay, we got some magic lesson. Can we skip this? Numerology. It's a type of magic. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of this guy, so I'm just skipping. He is talking a whole lot. What is the collective name for the four holy numbers in numerology? It is... Oops. This one. Tetractus? Oh, lucky me. There's more? He's still going. Now oh, we're finally free. Alright, first things first, let's go to the shrine. We got some new visitors here. Um, do I want Zane? Might as well. I don't think I'll use it, but just in case, I suppose. Nozomi, Yuko, Fuka. Oh, let's talk to Yuko. The kids finally raced against those 6th graders. They want to tell me how they did. So, will you come with me? Yes. Let's go. I wonder how they did. Now I'm getting nervous. Coach and the boyfriend. That's me. Coach, we raced them all one on one, and two of us actually won. That means we tied the sixth graders. Can you believe it? They said they're gonna let us use the schoolyard now, and they want to be friends with us. They think we're pretty fast for fourth graders, and told us we should play together sometime. A doubt. I know how hard you all worked. Wow, thanks. Um, big sis? <laughs> you don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Auntie Yuko is fine. One, two, three. Good luck with your boyfriend! <laughs> <sighs> they called you my boyfriend till the very end. Want to make that true? Oh, okay. Wait, huh? Hey, <laughs> don't laugh. Joking like that is bad for my heart. <laughs> you really got me saying something like that out of nowhere. <sighs> you know what this feels like? the end of some cheesy high school drama series. Hmm. Like the kids have left the nest. Are you believed? Well, of course. I was constantly worried someone would get hurt. To be honest, it was tough at the beginning. But now that they're gone, it feels kind of lonely. Teaching those kids how to race. It was pretty fun. They looked so happy every time they got faster. And it made me happy too. That feeling of wanting to help them just kept growing bigger and bigger. You know, this might have been the first time I really put my heart into something. And it's not that I've been slacking off as a team manager, but maybe helping and teaching people is more of my thing. It kinda made me think about the things I should do for my future, I mean. Oh, by the 
way, I wanted to thank you. Maybe we should throw a little party. You know, to celebrate our first attempt at coaching. Let's do it. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. Hmm. Now where should we have the party at? I kind of want it to be somewhat fancy. I'll look around for a place. It's a date. Seven. Three more. I didn't have much confidence at the beginning. So you being here with me was really... Well, let's talk about that next time. We'll have plenty of time at the party. Shall we head home? Okay, so it looks like we can date more than one girl at the time. Oh, you're back. Yes. Let's first... Oh, Tanaka. Did you forget? In that case, I'll head on home, if you don't show up soon. Let's go talk to him. Why, hello? Hello. You came for another life lesson, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> oh my, such enthusiasm. Have I got you hook, line, and sinker? Just the other day, my high school organized a class reunion. Sounds fun. <laughs> I had a splendid time. I laughed just thinking about it. I doubt you'd understand how I feel since you're still in high school, but a class reunion is a very important event. It's the perfect opportunity to show everyone how pathetic their lives turned out. Like that cat who made fun of me for eating plain rice, or the ingrate who threw my holy socks in the trash. Now, they both look at me with envy. What they make in a year, I make in a month. My business is doing great, and I'd say I have a satisfying private life as well. Let me take you under my wing as our exclusive model. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Don't think I would extend this offer to just anyone. Hmm. Do we get paid for it? Remember that 40,000 yen you gave me? I'd say you've gotten your money's worth at this point. My time is worth at least 100,000 yen per hour, you know. Just think of all the free advice I've given you. You can thank me later. As long as he's not charging for more. Speaking of, we buy all this stuff on Sundays anyways. You probably paid more than that. Kazushi. Alright, let's see what's for sale. It's a yes. I'm going to do it. The exciting toy set. It's not just a great gift for children, but also for adults who yearn to feel young again. Good, good. We have the RC Gata. Some shoes. Just try to resist the urge to move it around. Bet you can't. Not bad. And Hyper Metal Robot 2. This might be for I guess, I'm guessing. Let's buy them. Okay, something seasonal next time. Let's go get our card. Maybe we'll go for magic. My buffala. This is a good one. And then... Shinji. Oh wait, actually, let's go to the police station so I can get my reward for saving those people. Hmm. 
for some reason, we just got a delivery of a bunch of mysterious dolls. Is it homunculus? Yep. I'm gonna think of it. The schoolgirl. Much obliged. Magic talisman. Now you're here. In cash, huh? That's a lot. And might as well sell our stuff while we can. I'll take that. We're rich. You finish, come back soon. Alright, Shinji, let's talk. What? What? So what do you want? Let's talk about the form. You wanna to talk to me about something? That's let's go somewhere else. You hungry? So, are you still carrying that thing around? You need to rethink this. Hmm. Looks like you're not just playing errand boy this time. Sorry, but I'm not going back to school. Since it's you, I guess I'll say it. I ain't gonna live much longer. I'm getting by on meds right now, but that won't last forever. Is there anything we can do? This is probably the part where I ask God for a miracle. But that's never worked for me. This is my body we're talking about. I know it better than anyone. And I know there's nothing I can do. Here you go! Two specials! Eat up. The noodles are getting soggy. I know it seems like I wasted your time, but it's the good memories that stay with you and get people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever. I gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. Don't forget your promise. Oh, damn, you really don't mince your words, do you? But you know, that ain't so bad. It's way more refreshing than having someone keep quiet because they're scared of hurting my feelings. That's gotta be why they depend on you so much. Aki and Kurijo are fighting with way more confidence than they had two years ago. Yeah, you're just something special. But look, if you got time to waste on me, then go spend it on someone else. Like Amada, he's still just a kid. He's way in over his head. I'm still going to do whatever I can to help. But after that, I'm counting on you. I'll hold on to this. Yeah. I should have been the one to hand it in. Sorry I put that on you. You can head on outside. I'm paying today. Thanks. Money's on the counter. Thanks! Come again! Wait, so he's dying soon? See if you give me anything. Coffee beans. Let's make some coffee, I suppose. All right. I'm using different beans today. I went to a coffee shop and bought some real ones this time. I made sure to store them in the fridge, and I only ground them right before brewing. I also learned you need to be mindful of how hot the water is, as well as how you pour it. How sure are you? beans from before since I can't afford too many of the expensive ones. Although, this is the first time I'm brewing with these fancier beans. I wonder how it'll turn out. Well then, let's drink, shall we? Cheers! Cheers. 
Hmm. It's still really bitter. So bitter. But it's not only that. I could actually taste some of the sweetness and richness this time. The beans and brewing technique can make a huge difference, huh? Oh, and the smell was great, too. I'm feeling a little nostalgic, actually. Nostalgic. Thanks for joining me. You can go on ahead. I'm gonna practice a little more to try and get the hang of this. Let's make some more if we ever get the chance. Oh. Uh, first, I gotta use the bathroom. I drank a lot while I was practicing today. I'll gladly cook with them every day if it gives me some SP items. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there's only one more week until the full moon. I hope nothing serious happens. But you can never be sure what the future holds. Be careful out there, okay? Okay. Remember? I'm always looking out for you. We'll meet again. Always looking out. Interesting. What do we have? Someone in my neighborhood actually has those symptoms. Yeah, exactly. There are a few in mine too. I'm scared. They said on TV that it's not contagious, but I feel like it's a sign of a sign of the end of the world. Don't joke like that. The end of the world? There's no way. Apathy syndrome? And we arrive at the solution. We've already covered how any number divided by zero is undefined, right? Oh, we didn't? Was that the other class? Well, either way, I just told you, so let's move on. What a teacher. Next one, the answer is eight. None of this is useful, huh? Let's just stay awake for academics. But then, on the other hand, things like the square root sign and the sigma... I don't care. Maybe another magic today? I haven't seen if anything else needs uh, another duplicate yet. Uh, Magarula? Her. Now then. Kurosawa. I want to hang out with any of these. Maybe Fuga? Let's chat. Or... Maybe instead of Fuga... Let's see if Yuko is available. Oops, not that one. Yuko... He's not here today. Fine, we'll talk to Fuka. I'm just about to head home. How about you? Let's go. Now that I think about it, even though we live in the same dorm, we've never gone back together before. Remember how I told you I wanted to improve my cooking? Well, I've been trying a lot since then, but I can never seem to get the taste right. Still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? Hmm, how do I do it? Just a dash or two? A dash? Oh, so speed is important? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> I've just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. To tell you the truth, 
I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. Just take it slow. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. I've never had someone be so supportive of me like this before. I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. But you know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, I never think like that. You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. Cool. Rank 3. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Actually, it might be a little too advanced for me. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Mm, but in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. Go to the bookstore. Oh, right. I guess I could do that, but... I don't really like going to bookstores. It's not a big deal, though. Oh my gosh, when did it get so late? I have to go! Um, the hairdryer burned out, so I was planning on fixing it. But I was hoping to get it done before Yukari-chan and the others got back. Sorry, do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? It's a dash. Go prepare for her salting. Oh, you're back. Hey, just one more week. Or six more days. Nothing special today. Koromaru. Maybe it's time to hang out with Koromaru. For some academics. Our f Ooh. Watch the animal show. That was a short one. Let's go get the card. Let's check magic again, I think. Virus Breath. Skill card that bestows Virus Breath, Almighty, and Poison to all foes. That's not bad. Dark damage. I think I like this one. I'll get the virus breath next time, probably. And then we have quite a few choices. Let's check on Yuko first. If she's there, I want to do hers. Oh, am I on the wrong side? Whoops. But she's not there. Neither is Fuka. Let's check the classroom again. Hmm. No, Yukari's not here either. Alright, guess we'll choose one of these guys. Maybe you. Yeah, Puka's probably with him. How are you doing? Doing good. I just got here myself. Are you going to be at the art club today? Yes. 
Oh yeah, that reminds me. I'll let the club advisor know about you. Everyone, attention please. I have an announcement regarding the recent Bay Area Art Contest. Hiraga-kun's painting was selected for consideration in the final round. Huh? Wow! Your piece was really good. You might even win. Please, it's all thanks to my paintbrush. I was lucky to use my dad's quality raccoon hair one. It really helped apply the paint to the canvas. So I'm sure that's the only reason the judges even noticed. Hmm, I don't think so. You've got talent. Thank you. But I've only been painting for about two years now. So I never imagined my piece would go so far. You should have more confidence in yourself. He's been practicing so hard. He's right. Everyone knows how late you stay. Thanks, guys. But I should be supporting all of you, not the other way around. I'm sorry. I should be setting a better example for new members like you. I may not be much of an artist or a leader, but I hope we can keep working to improve our skills together. Okay. Rank three. I've come this far. I might as well continue this for as long as I can. Oh, look at the time. Time to head home, everyone. And we're done. Or not. How do I convince him? Why am I... I feel kind of weak. Your breathing is impaired, and your lips are pale. Did you get enough sleep last night? And what do you usually have for lunch? Uh, now that I think about it, I, I didn't eat breakfast today. Mm-hmm. I see. Just as I thought. Looks like anemia. Probably from an unbalanced diet. It must be all the fast food. I recommend adding more shellfish to your diet like oyster and abalone. They're packed with iron and easy to cook. Um, good work, Doc Jr. Don't call me that. This is just common sense. Being the son of a doctor doesn't have anything to do with it. I'll take him to the nurse's office. You guys should head on home. Have you been able to figure out why the machine in the command room is malfunctioning? Hujo Senpai asked me to take a look, but I have no idea what's wrong with it. And it seems to break down once a month. Around... Oh, don't worry. It doesn't affect our missions or anything. Around the full moon? Let's go take a look. Command room. A new video? Oh, it's from July. Whoa. Hmm. I wonder if I should have gone for the one piece suit instead. These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels a little weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've chosen my own swimsuit. There wasn't much of a selection for the one pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan again what she thinks. Although, I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! What is it? Frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's TV show. Oh no. It said online it was very effective for its price, so maybe it could do some help before the trip. 
Now let's see. How do I turn this on? Uh, no, this. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> oh, what do I do? <laughs> Why won't it come off? <laughs> no! Yamagishi, do you have a moment? Interrupting anything? <laughs> no, 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 Probably sounded really weird from the other side. Anything else? This is from August. That's pretty cool. A lot of trophies. Oh, damn it. I still can't stop thinking about what happened in Yakushima. You're telling me I can't carry a conversation any better than Junpei? <laughs> How can I be on the same level as that idiot and his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, no specific examples come to mind, but I think I at least do that much. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. When people speak to you, do you tend to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake among inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling first. <sighs> oh, damn it. I guess they've got a point. Try practicing by imagining you're asking a female friend or colleague to your favorite store. Remember, it's important to smile and have a sense of humor. Huh. Um, hey there. Uh, what great timing to see you here. Nice one. I'm going to, uh, Umiushi. <laughs> Wanna come with? Oh, humor. Uh, humor. Y you know the beef bowl place? Uh, hey, m maybe we could meet up there, huh? M get it? No. Mm. What am I, the chairman? Screw this. He doesn't even need to do that. Girls just flock to him anyways. One more? From September. Aragaki and Karomaru. You two can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up in the summer heat. The key ingredient is the Monganji pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kombu soup stock. You'll need a pasta cooker about this size, and... A pasta cooker? Do we even have one of those here? It's still pretty hot. It requires excess energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. <laughs> Shit! We have returned. We're home, Koro-chan. 
Oh, shh. We should be quiet. It looks like Aragaki Senpai's asleep. He says Aragaki san is not asleep. Huh? Ah, <sighs> Senpai's magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. Does Aragaki Senpai enjoy cooking shows? I didn't even know this month's issue was out. Aragaki san frequently watches programs like. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Come on, let's go. Poor Shinji. Damn, forgot you can understand dogs. Aw, oh, don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, Koro-chan. Next time, I'll make you something, too. Shinji is such a sweetheart. If only he wasn't Cinder, right? Anything else? Oh, there's more. This is the most recent, I'm guessing. My room. Door unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. Hmm. Surface body temperature reads 36.2 degrees Celsius. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. I cannot stay too long, or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. I should be safe as long as I sneak out before morning. I will keep watch over him for a little longer. Okay. Keeps going. Wow. 25th. Uh-oh. <sighs> I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, I'm away from home, so it's no big deal, I suppose. This fashion magazine. I thought I'd take a look after I saw Takeba purchasing one. 256 snazzy looks to knock the socks off of your BFFs. Get her look. Sweet but glam do's and don'ts. <sighs> what is this even saying? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. The cutest essentials. Well, I would be open to trying this pink one. <laughs> Not that it would suit me anyway. I'm no Takiba. I should remember there's a difference between what appeals to me and what I can actually pull off. <laughs> Not good. I'm going to catch a cold. I should turn in. I have to be up early again tomorrow. Now, which pajamas shall I wear tonight? Ah, uh, rich girl struggles. Okay. No new recordings. We're finally done. What else we got here? Naka flash sale, 100% off. Well, let's see what he's got. Oh. You're not busy at the moment, are you? Because I've got one riveting life lesson for you. Entirely free of charge, might I add? Alright, let's see. Yes, yes, very good. That enthusiasm of yours is absolutely adorable. Before I 
enlighten you today. Well, you notice anything different about me? Like what? Uh, are you blind? I had an appointment at the spa for a facial peel. Isn't my skin simply radiant now? It's quite a hassle, but appearances are a big part of the job in my line of work. That said, I am the total opposite at home. I dress like a slob and only shower every three days. Let me come up with an analogy. Hmm. Vegetables! Perfect! Imagine an organically grown cucumber that looks all deformed. Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect, but was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would rather stock? The one that looks good? That's the simple truth. Awkwardly shaped cucumbers don't pack together very well, so stores prefer straight ones. Taste and safety aren't even a consideration. They'll carry cucumbers that even pests wouldn't eat. So, why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth? Simple, people trust what they see. The world is governed more by appearances than realities. That's why, as much as I hate spending money, I buy expensive ties to win people's trust. Wait. You know what I just said earlier? The part about me dressing like a slob and not showering every day. Don't you dare tell anyone. I can't afford to have people start believing I'm ordinary. I only admitted it to you personally. No one else has a clue, okay? Okay. Just a reminder, do not tell a soul. If you break your promise, well, I guess I can trust you. Uh, run along now. Did he run out of threats? Well, three more nights and we should be good. Morning. Morning. Pretty good. Let's own that next shadow and make the world a better place, yeah? He's all happy now that he has a girlfriend. Alrighty. There was one more magic that I wanted. Something with almighty. Remind me. Uh, no. Oh. Maybe I should get this first, too. It's pretty good. Now then, you go. Let's celebrate. Can we do that now? Let's have ourselves a little party to commemorate the occasion. And soon, I've got a gift in mind. I've got a place in mind, so let me know when you have time. She giving me a gift. Hey yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm pretty much ready to throw that party, so I thought today might be a good time. Let's do it. All right. No backing out now, okay? Hmm, where should we go? Um... How about my place? Don't worry, I tidied up beforehand. ended up being at my place. I was out buying stuff that might be useful for running practice and I ran out of money. It's a nice room. Oh, really? Good thing I took the time to tidy up. Feel free to eat as many snacks as you want, okay? It was a lot of hard work, but I'm glad we decided to coach those kids in the end. What do you think? <sighs> um, sorry. It's just, I never noticed how long your eyelashes are. I don't think I've looked at you this closely before. It's only the two of us here now. 
Maybe that's why I'm a little nervous. Uh, how about we change the subject? I'll ask you a question. Hmm. Oh, do you like children? Haha, <laughs> I do. Really? Me too. I like how they're so pure and always try their best. It just makes me want to support them as much as I can. I realized recently how much I like to look after other people. Let's see. Uh, okay, next question. Let's say you get married and have a kid. Would you want it to be a boy or a girl? Hmm. Probably not this one. Let's say a boy. I see. A boy, huh? Boys have so much energy that they can be a handful, but I'm sure they make a house more lively. Either way, I would just hope that the baby didn't take after me. You could say I'm a little rough around the edges. But if they took after you, I'm sure they'd be super cute. They'd probably be athletic, too. I wonder if they'll take an interest in sports. Oh yeah, our relationship has definitely grown. By the way, do you look more like your dad or your mom? I've been told that I'm the spitting image of my dad. Not that I mind, but I do have mixed feelings about it. I don't have parents. I mean, we don't look that much alike, right? My eyebrows aren't as bushy for one. Okay, two more and we should be good with her. A box on the counter. What are these shoes? I see you're back. I am. There's a good chance our next operation is going to be on Sunday. We've got four days to prep, so don't slack, alright? By the way, I started a new workout routine last week, specifically geared for combat. Nice. Hey, he ain't the only one starving for a fight. Just say the word and you can count on me. Hmm. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but don't get yourself so worked up. Let's see what the shoes do first. AD, that's a lot of evasion. Shift boost. This attack rises when on the receiving end of a ship. Probably good for me, but I want to keep the endure. Who would I shift to? Akihiko, maybe? He has agility and ice evasion. He has 50 HP. I think I'll give it to Akihiko. Now then. Do we have... Nope, nobody's up here. Maybe we just go... Wait a minute. Yes, someone's up here. Um, Thanks, son. Are you currently free from predetermined obligations at this moment? I would like to enlist your assistance in absorbing all necessary information from the Yakuza novels. And gain a new ability? Let's do it. Yes. Then I shall retrieve the book from my room. Please stand by until I return. Is that it? Um, I am going to upgrade my outer appearance. First, I will triple the current surface area of my armor plating. After that, I will repaint my body gold and add a large dragon to my back. Not bad, I guess. Don't you think? I'm pleased to hear that you agree. Are you thinking of getting upgraded yourself? Outer appearances carry an influence that is beyond my ability to calculate. The main character of this story also carefully cultivated his image so everyone would take him seriously. That is why I'm looking into upgrading myself. In order for me to become more dependable, it's necessary I change my appearance. Don't you agree? What's important is attitude. Attitude? So that's what takes priority? Oh, 
Could it be? I apologize. Please forget what I said about upgrading my appearance. It seems I had the completely wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says, Can't have people think I ain't cool. Until then, he'd put so much effort into his attire, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. Thanks to you, I finally understand. What's most important in life is having a strong heart to stay true to your beliefs. Therefore, I will also follow what I believe in. I may not appear dependable, but don't worry. I will adjust my attitude to reach maximum energy output and to increase my ammo stocks by 50%. Good for you. Fizz boost strengthens physical still skills. That's straightforward. Let's just punch harder. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Shall we conduct a raid? Oh, it's gotten so late. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to go tonight. How oh, unfortunate. I'll just return to my room then. And we're in October. By the way. It's finally time to break out the winter uniforms. They're so heavy my shoulders hurt. At least I found my lapel pin in my pocket. It'd haunt me forever if I couldn't find it. You know what? My shoulders have been hurting lately too. Plus, I'm hearing weird voices, and I've also been getting headaches. You're haunted? I don't think so. I finally get to tell you all about Masamune Date today. I was so excited last night, I couldn't sleep a wink. Let's not waste any more time. We'll start with Date's early life. In 1567, at Yonizawa Castle, no! We gotta watch this one. And at age 15, he emerged victorious from his very first battle. Thus began his rise to power. Huh? We're out of time? What's your next class? Composition? Hmm. Miss Toriyumi, eh? Well, I'm sure she'll forgive me if I bring her some cake. So let's continue with... Okay, my favorite teacher. Alright, now that we started October, I think I'll just call it a day here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.